In this DVD set, what we're going to do is we're going to cover five areas. Number one would be the punching to take down, ways to take down someone when they're striking. Very vital, important part of the Bali Tudo game. The second will be the plum. The plum is the clinch or the necktie position. Every time you grapple or fight, you're going to end up in this position standing. So this is an essential part to learn to develop your top game. The next will be pummeling. Pummeling is the essentials to grappling. If you're not pummeling, you're not grappling. Pummeling will help you break this down to different areas and ways to get in and to pummel different parts of the body. Volley Tudo guard passes are different parts of the guard game that you're going to use to develop your passes and ways to get by your partner's legs. The last one that we do is attacks from positions. I attack the neck, the bent arm locks, and the straight arm locks. Show you a diversity of different attacks that you can utilize and apply and put into your game as a submission fighter. Safety is a major portion to our training. For without our training partner, we're going to end up training alone. So the key is training safely and training smart. When I used to fight in Bali Tudo and no holds barred fighting, we used to train the same way we used to fight, which was stupid. We used to train really hard and we used to hurt each other all the time. Consistently full of injuries when it's all based on timing and pressure. So if you train smart, train hard, and you're training in the right way. PYPP is called Preserve Your Partner Program, and that's what you want to think about. DVD 1 includes punching takedowns, kicking takedowns, how to punch into takedowns, how to kick into takedowns, and how to counter the shot. Okay, the first counter we're going to do is when Jeremy jabs me. What I want to do is I just want to slip to the outside. Slip to the outside. So if he's here, when he, when he throws a jab, look at my head just moves off. So what I do is I bring my left shoulder forward. So I keep my head down and bring my left shoulder forward. I want that forearm to graze my ear like that. That's how I know that I slipped just enough to get into the body tackle position. Okay, so what I really want him to do is put that hand into my face and then slip it. So what I've got to do, if he just throws a flick jab and brings it back, this is harder for me to shoot. What I want him to do is I want him to stick that into me. So what I'll do is I'll back up sometimes, I'll back up. And by backing up, that's going to set up my shot. We call it a draw step. If you look at my feet here, so if I'm here, I take a big step. Again, I take a big step and then a half step. So big half, and then I'm in. Okay? So big, see like that, I'm gonna draw him in. And shoot. Again, I back up, boom, I'm in. Again, I'm in. Now the key on this, again, going to the outside when he jabs. I'm in, my head's up. If my head is down, he can choke me. I've got to leave my head up. If he goes to choke, Look, at he's off balance, not me. The key is to shoot when he jabs. Is to shoot, and when he goes to clinch on me, I want his elbow and his arm higher than his shoulder. If his elbow is lower than his shoulder, he has power to pull my head down. But if I'm here, and our hips are almost touching, we call marry the hips. If you can marry the hips and the legs together here, he tries to clinch on me and pull my head down, he's off balance. All I have to do is keep my head up. Okay, so the first takedown I'm going to do, off the jab, is he jabs, I slip. I'm going to grab his body. As I do this, I'm going to step, step up. So I'm going to step and step up. Okay, one more time. Step and step up. Step and step up. And take his back. As I do this, look at the holes. My hooks come in right away. Okay, again. Boom. Step this leg up. 
Your leg's gonna hit him, your hip's gonna hip him, and your head's gonna come straight up. Notice I'm taking his legs out. I'm on his back immediately. I can start to punch, or punch, or punch, and get my hooks in. Another angle. It's right here. Look at how fast this is. Boom, I'm in. My hooks are already in. I'm on his back. Hooks will come in immediately, and I'm here to break him down and to punch. Okay, this next takedown will be a body tackle clinch, head outside with a leg hook. The leg hook just really forces him to the mat. You can use your hands to crumble. The key on this is when, when he jabs, if I take just this, okay, when I take this position, I don't want my hands to come wide. I want him to shoot across and come into here. I want to break his hips in. And what's going to happen is I'm going to hook his leg here to really take his balance off. My head's got to be high. So when I really drive this, this goes straight to the mat right away. Not just because I'm hooking his leg, but also because I'm pulling his hips in. So when he jabs, I slip and I come in, my hook comes in, and we're down right away. When he jabs, I slip, I hook. Now look where I'm at, I'm in half guard. I'll end up in half guard. Hook. See where I'm at? And one more time. Okay. Do another angle. What I need to do now, when I'm down, I'm stuck in a bad spot. There's two ways I'm going to counter and get my leg free. So when I go and take him here, see this? I'm immediately going to take this hand and underhook this leg. And when I do that, I'm going to kick off, hold the leg, and come into a good holding position from here. See where that leg's stuck? Okay, I pull my head up. I reach down, I hook the leg, hold it up, hook my leg. Don't let me cut my leg. Kick my leg out, free it, and then walk back. Second way to get your leg free is by bouncing my knee on his belly. Once we hit the floor, he crosses his legs really tight, so I really can't get this leg free. So I know I have to be careful here. It's half guard. He's going to be trying to sweep me or bridge me. Okay, so from right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold his head, bounce my knee up, hold, hold his pants and just bounce. He'll start to defend and we'll start to, and this is good for punching, and it'll get me out to my position. crosses his feet, have a good base, form his neck, knee up, hold the head, this is good for hitting, bounce, and free. <laughs> 